So I think a lot of people, when they think about the business, will get a certain mindset, a certain picture, a kind of uh, imagination about what a business is, how it might be constructed, what it's for. And that those, those things are quite narrow. So a business is to make profit. Um, it exists in order to serve the shareholder. Um, it, its purpose is maybe at best to employ people, but really to kind of make some money. And uh, business as unusual basically says, is that all? Is that all? And even if you look at businesses as they exist today, a lot of businesses come from ideas, imagination, trying to meet needs, trying to help people. And social enterprise and what we're talking, missional enterprise, is really bringing in the conversation around what a business is for into a question of what is mission? What is mission? What is a kind of full picture of mission, a kind of social and personal aspects of mission? And in what ways does business and enterprise relate to that? How do you bring the two into conversation? And I think when you bring them into conversation, you get a very interesting uh, product, a very interesting baby is birthed, if you like, from that, where, where it's business in one sense, but in another sense, it's, it's not business. It, it looks different, it has a different set of priorities and agendas, but it exists within a market, within a world of, of buying and selling, but with a very different set of parameters and priorities. The whole question of mission entrepreneurship is, is really, in some sense, a byproduct of an extended conversation about mission in uh, aspects of the Western church in the last number of years, going away from perhaps a, a narrow perspective of mission as evangelism, to a slightly broader perspective of mission is evangelism plus, when needed, a bit of social justice, <laughs> to, to a more holistic sense of mission as participating in what God is doing in the world. That is nurturing creation, that is um, being engaged in questions of justice, that is engaged in questions of beauty and goodness as well as truth. And that, that there's an aspect of participation rather than simply uh, a kind of transactive understanding of mission and very much mission entrepreneurship is um, a way of, of taking the conclusions of that into a particular space so what if you start something new what if you build something new and then the other driver for mission entrepreneurship is is the recognition that people engaged in pioneering new forms of mission have to get resourced so how do you do it how do you if you're in a structure that is hundreds of years old that has one way of paying people you know, we wear particular collars and stand in front of particular old buildings. If you're trying to do something new in that kind of culture, how do you do it? What do you do? And that, that kind of pain or loss or deficit has led to innovation. Let's try this. Let's try that. Let's do something else. Let's think about starting a business, not just a, a church. Let's start thinking about all these things. And so there's these kind of two drivers, if you like, of birth, this notion of mission entrepreneurship. So my community in, in Earlsfield, uh, in southwest London, we, we try and embody an alternative economic imagination. That's what we talk about. Um, Recognising that, that how we live financially as a community is a crucial aspect of our personal and sort of social mission. That it's not a, a means to do something else, but it's a thing in itself we need to think about. Um, and we try and um, particularly think about um, the relation of gifts and hospitality and abundance as aspects of our mission that are economic. They are to do with what we do with our resources, how we uh, allocate those resources compared to what we think are important. And out of that is, has birthed a uh, urban farming charity, <laughs> which is growing quickly. Out of that has birthed um, a soon to be cafe, and, and a number of other initiatives relating to, uh, for instance, the refugee crisis and others because of a kind of a sense that um, creating buildings, shaping new things with it in a different way is, is integral. It's just what mission is. It's just how we've come to understand what that means for us as a community.